Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another gem. So today we got this super cute, you know, mini set that I did on myself. And I know some of y'all are always asking, like, for me to do short nails. Y'all want to see me do short nails? So here it is, especially because this is set on myself, okay? And first, y'all need to make sure that y'all are subscribed. Hit that bell button so that y'all know when I'm uploading. And comment, like, share, whatever you can to do to support your girl. And, yeah, we're just going in, pushing my cuticles back. And then we are going to go in with my hand file. And just remove any oils or shines from the natural nail beds. And get all of that off. And then gonna do this on all the nails, obviously. Y'all, I'm so upset that I have to have short nails. If you know me, you know I love my long nails, my extra long nails. But unfortunately, they don't love me back, honestly, because <laughs> I just have so much problems with them. And I'll explain a few, but <sighs> yeah. So after this, you already know we're going to have my tips out. And I was actually running out of tips. So what I did was I grabbed some larger tips and just cut them down to my nail size and use those because i was out of the two sizes i needed and so then i just went ahead and dehydrated my nail beds with my dehydrator from valentino and then we just glue in my nail tips on and no double tips <laughs> i'm gonna cry no double tips so i don't know if y'all been following me or subscribe to me for a while now if you were og you know that I be having problems. Like, I kept, like, the one time, it was, like, June or July of last year. And I had, look, I'm trying to really get that pointer straight. The pointer is the hardest finger to get straight. But I had hit my nail. It was my thumb, my left hand, my thumb. And I did my nails on Friday. And then literally the next day, didn't even get to take no pictures of my nails. It was the 3D snake ones, which are on my page. So if you want to go see those, I'm sure I'll explain the story in that video. But now, yeah, we're just cutting it down to the length that I want. And then we're going to do some tapered square. So I did cut because I mentioned that I used some bigger tips. So I did cut a little bit. Usually I don't cut when I'm doing tapered square because it's square. You don't need to be, but because they were um, thicker nails or bigger nails I just cut them down a little bit to fit my nail bed my size and then we just gonna shape them up and blend the tip into the natural nail bed as well but yeah I had hit my thumb I was trying to open one of them tables and I hit my thumb and my nail came up my whole natural nail came up it was bleeding it was pussy oh my god it was just so terrible it took like three months for my nail to grow back and that whole three months I didn't have my nails done at all And then I did my nails again, got them long, and I hit my, what finger was it? I think it was one of my pointer fingers. I don't remember which hand, but it didn't come up all the way. It came up like halfway, but still the fact that I hit it, it wasn't bleeding, but it was still painful and I hit it. My nail was lifted. It was, it was just too much and I just keep hitting them. My nails seemed to get weaker. So I was like, let me just stop. Stop getting my long nails and then... Um, I actually also stopped because I kept trying to stop biting my nails. How am I a nail tech and I bite my natural nails? Like, that don't make no sense. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just stop. I'm not going to have no acrylics until I stop biting my natural nails. Because I be tearing my acrylics up too. Like, some people be like, yeah, I bite my natural nails. But I get my nails done to stop it. No, boo. Mm -mm. Them nails don't stop nothing. I'll go in there <laughs> and tear my acrylics up too. But it's probably because, like, I know that I can fix them. Because I do my own nails, you know. And I don't pay for them. So, 
that's that didn't even stop biting my nails because that shit is so freaking hard the longest i went was like three days and i kept doing it because it's like i it's not when i don't do it when i'm nervous but it's just i do it because i just always have to be doing something with my hands you know my job is doing nails so i'm always doing something with my hands so if i'm like watching a movie or something you know doing something where i'm just sitting still i just always have to be doing something with my hands so i just always find myself biting my nails you know and just too damn hard if you guys have any tips please let me know i've tried the little um file carrying it with me or whatever it's just in like the spicy nail polish i'll bite right through that so i don't know what to do anymore and i gave up and was like i'm gonna just give me some short nails because short nails are better than no nails <laughs> and so that's where we at now and i'm starting to feel them you know they super classy and simple and I got my nails done. Okay, that's just that. I don't look all raggedy and nasty with no nails with a little boy hand, okay? <laughs> but, yeah, please let me know if you guys have any tips for stop biting your nails because that's a big problem of mine and a bad habit. And, yeah. So now we ready for application. So I'm going in with my dehydrator again from Valentino. Then I'm going to go in with my No Lift Nails Primer. And we're applying that twice. I know I'm out of the um, frame sometimes, but it's just super hard to, um, you know, record myself doing my own nails and stay in the camera. Like, it's just so hard because I'm really trying to get in there and see what I'm doing with out straining myself and being uncomfortable you know so bear with me y'all but you already know we going to my crystal clear my cnd retention and putting that little small clear coat on my natural nails and this is the second coat of primer that we're putting it on so i'm just putting it on right before i put it put the acrylic on and I'm just going as I go you know especially with me doing my own nails it's going to take me a little bit longer to get to each finger so this just helps with lifting even more and yeah gonna do that on all the fingers Then we're going in for the application and I'm just using my super white from Valentino and like you saw when I first started the video, the, my nails are basically just simple white. We All we did was just white short nails. So that's all we have to do, just doing the basic application. You don't have to make short nails super thick or have a super big apex because they're not long, you know, you're not going to break them as easily. So I just create a little small apex just to still protect because you never know. You could still. I actually just hit. Oh, my God. I just hit my middle finger on my left hand. Like, how the hell do you hit short nails? I don't freaking understand. Like, how do you? I'm just too reckless with nails or something because how do I mess my nails up with short nails? Like, 
and I was having a super hard time with my cuticle area working on myself so my cuticle area is super rough on this video and I think it's just you know I haven't done my nails in forever like I said it's been like two months since I've had my nails done and so yeah you just for short nails you want to keep them thin you don't want them to be too bulky a very small apex and yeah I actually have like a cute little vloggy vlog type of video coming for y'all and it's it got to do with nails but yeah I'm gonna give a lot of information out towards the end of the video I already recorded everything I just got edited but yeah I'm super excited for y'all to hear what I got to tell y'all what's coming for 2021 and for y'all to um just respond and to hear y'all comments and let me know because I do read y'all stuff and I appreciate all of the positivity and everything and I just love y'all as my little team, my supporters and I, was, and I just want to say thank y'all to everybody and yeah, it's just another level of appreciation and just 2021 is just, we just got a lot coming, okay? And yeah, let's just finish up this foundation, this application, and we're going to get into the shaping. And of course, now we on to the shaping and y'all already know what it is for my shaping and I am going to be out the camera. I'm sorry, y'all. It's just so, like I mentioned before, it's just, just super hard to record doing your own nails because it's like you really want to get up in there and see what you're doing and just like hold your hand a certain way. But you can't because you got to be in the camera and it's a lot, but you already know i file most with my hand file but because it's on myself i do i was doing a lot with the e-file but with the e-file just going around cleaning it up a little bit the cuticle especially because y'all know my cuticle was kind of rigged in this set but it's okay and yeah I mean, y'all know if you watch my videos, you know what I do for my shaping. If not, I do recommend watch not my latest video, but I think maybe the one before that. It's a few different videos. I usually go into depth about my shaping maybe like every other video. So a few different videos you can, you know, check it out and 
I'll explain. But for now, it's a just it's hard to explain. Especially you see me shaking my hand because my hand in pain. Like, yeah, you gotta hold your hand a certain way. It just it just be too much. But yeah, that's how I shape my own nails. And I'm going to just let y'all watch the rest of the shaping part. So then, of course, once I'm done all of my shaping, I went ahead and washed my hands. And then we get in for the top coat. I ran out of my Valentino top coat, so I had to use my um, E Nail Couture top coat. I'm getting tired of that brand. I think I'm going to stop buying from them at this point because what the fuck is this? Like, what? I'm sorry for cussing, but what the, f like, what is this? Why is the top coat, why is the top of the top coat that long? 
it does not have to be that long with the fucking crown on it like he just starting to blow me with everything that he like making his brand into which if people see like it's just gonna wobble right over and fall over like what is, what is the point you put the crown on there but it don't gotta be that damn long <sighs> and if other people like it if he happy with it that's fine but it's not for me okay and the shipping now is taking like two months it should not take no damn two months for me to get my damn order i don't care if it's corona or not it's other business out here like doing being quicker let me not be so rude i'm sorry y'all but this is the finished product i'm done with that brand that's whatever but this how we looking yes and i just want to say thank y'all for watching please like comment subscribe i'll see y'all in my next video and yeah see y'all later